And it's PLB with the MLB News back with another video. And today's video is going to be five KBO players that could go to the Major League soon. Um, it's really five play KBO players that could return to the Major League soon. Because the five players, after I did this, I, um, all five of the players have already been in the Major Leagues. So, it's five KBO players that could return to the Major League soon. If you like KBO content and baseball content, minor league, major league content on the channel, as soon as minor league or major league starts back, we will be doing some major league baseball content. Um, we're still doing major league baseball content. Don't think it's just KBO league content. We still have got some more major league baseball content coming soon. Um... But another KBO video. Um, like this video if you like KBO content. Subscribe, turn on notifications so you will get notified whenever I upload. Let's go ahead and get into the five KBO players that could return to the major leagues soon. Starting off with Jake Bridgeham, who is currently on the Kiwan Heroes. He is he has formerly pitched in the major leagues with the Braves. Think if he has a good season, another good season with the um, Kiwan Heroes, an MLB team could want um, to get him as a starting pitcher. He had a really good season in 2019, one of the best of his career, 2.96 ERA, 28 games, 28 games started, 158 innings and a third, 62 runs, 52 earned, and 148 hits, compared to his 2018 season, which was not that good. 3.84 ERA, 11 wins, 7 losses. The wins and losses are still pretty good. But 31 games, 30 started. 199 innings, the most of his career. 89 runs, which is also the most of his career. 85 earned. So he didn't have that good of a season. He gave up the most runs and earned runs of his career so far. And... I'm also going to do a prediction of where I think these five players might sign. Um, for Jake Bridgeham, I think he sides with in the same division, the NL East, with the Miami Marlins. I think that the Miami Marlins would be a perfect fit for Jake Bridgeham, um, considering they do have three good starters besides him, and he would be the fourth or fifth starter in that rotation, which is where I think would be a good fit for him in a rotation. I think he definitely could be a good fit for the Marlins as a number four starter because they already have Caleb Smith, Sandy Alcantara, um, Jose Arana already there. You've, they've got three really good starters already there, and I think he would be a perfect fit as a number four or five for the Miami Marlins. And they still have Sixto Sanchez coming up, who I'm pretty sure is a starting pitcher or a relief pitcher. I'm not sure. But a four or five starter, I think this would be a perfect fit for both teams or both sides. And I have, as my prediction, the Marlins. Next um, pitcher is Dan Straley. I put Dan Straley on here because I think he could return to the major leagues if he has a good season with the KBO. This is his first season with the KBO. He was released by the um, league Iron Valley Picks, the AAA affiliate of the Philadelphia Phillies. His... He was drafted in the 2012 draft, I mean the two, the 24th round of the 2009 Major League Baseball draft, and he made his Major League debut with them in 2012, which he was drafted by the Oakland Athletics. Um, his first game of the season, which was the opener versus the KT Wiz, he plays on the Lotte Giants, by the way. He had five and two-thirds inning, innings pitched, three hits, two runs, two earned, Three walks, no save, obviously, and an ERA of 3.18. In his career from 2012 to 2019, 803 in 803.1 innings, 747 hits, 430 runs, 407 earned runs, 312 walks, no saves, 4.56 ERA. Um, in 2016 was definitely his best season with the Cincinnati Reds, a 14 and 8 record with a 3.76 ERA, 34 games, 31 started, 191.1 innings. 
Um, he still had a really good season in 2017 with the Marlins. A 10 and 9 record, 4.26 ERA, 33 games, 33 started. He had a kind of bad season in 2018 with AA and A advanced in the Miami Marlins organization. With A advanced, he had a 1 and 1 record with an 8.22 ERA. And in and in Double A, he had a one and zero record with a five point zero six ERA. Um, on the year, he had a two and one record with a six point nine two ERA. Three games, three games started. I think he was also injured that year. And now we go to twenty eighteen, which he was also in the Miami Marlins. Five and six record, four point twelve ERA. Twenty three games, twenty three games started. He pitched one hundred and twenty two point one innings. And let's go ahead and move on to his 2019 stats, which he had a 5-4 record with a 3.76 ERA, 12 games, 12 games started. Then he also pitched with the Baltimore Orioles, which was where it went, went downhill. And after he was released by the League Valley Iron Pigs, he went to the KBO. He had a 2-4 and four record with a 9.82 ERA, 14 games, 8 started. That is his um, stats for the last four seasons. Um, I definitely think if he had a really good season, because he did have a good 2016, a good 2017 season, it's just that he hasn't really been that good since. The next player on this list is Aaron Brooks. He has played in the major leagues for the Kansas City Royals, Oakland Athletics, and Baltimore Orioles. He is currently on the Kia Tigers of the KBO League. Um, he started in the second game for the Kia Tigers, five and two-thirds innings, five hits, one run, one earned and a 1.59 ERA, which is a really good game. I definitely think if he could have more games like that, he could definitely be a really good pitcher for an MLB team. I, my prediction for Dan Straley, by the way, is um, I definitely think he could go back to the Cincinnati Reds, but my prediction is the San Francisco Giants. I think he's already pitched a little bit with the San Francisco Giants in his MLB career. I think the Giants would be a perfect fit for him. Um, they don't have that good of a starting rotation. I think he could definitely be a one or two there, possibly, maybe even a three, especially if he has a really good season in the KBO. I definitely think a team like the Giants could sign him that's not really competing um, at the moment, and I definitely think he could have a good season there. Okay, now back to Aaron Brooks. In his career from 2014 to 2019, 170.2 innings, 204 hits, 126 runs, 123 earned, 53 walks, no saves, and a 6.49 ERA. Obviously, his ERA is very high, which is not that great. But I think if he had a really good season in the KBO, a team that's not competing like the Orioles, which he has already played on, um, or the Kansas City Royals also, that I think the A's are definitely going to be competitive. In the 2020 season, if there is one, I think it's definitely between the Royals, Orioles, and Mariners. I have him signing with the Baltimore Orioles. The Orioles pitching is not very good. They have John Means, but, my, but minus him, their starting pitching is pretty bad. The next one is Singh Hwan O. Oh. He has obviously been in the major leagues before for four years. His best season was in 2016 with the St. Louis Cardinals, 6-3 and record, 1.92 ERA in 76 games, 14 holds, 19 saves, 23 save opportunities in 79.2 innings. So he was pretty much pitching one inning when he came in, but very reliable and had a good season. In 2017, he didn't have as great of a season but still had an okay season, a 1-6 record with a 4.10 um, ERA, 62 games, 7 holds 20 saves and 20 in 24 save opportunities 59.1 innings so he really wasn't even pitching a whole inning in that season next in 2018 he was with the Toronto Blue Jays and the card and the Colorado Rockies let's go ahead and get through his stats with the rock on um, the Blue Jays four and three record 2.68 ERA 48 48 games 13 innings two saves Five save opportunities, 47 innings. Um, he definitely had a pretty good season. And then he also had a pretty good 2018. It was just his 2019 wasn't that good. A 2-0 and record with the Rockies in 2018. 2.53 ERA, 25 games, 
one eight holds, one save, four save opportunity, 21.1 innings. In 2019, three and one record, 9.33 ERA. This was all with the Colorado Rockies, by the way. 21 games, no start, no starts, three holds, and one save opportunity in 18.1 innings. So he wasn't even pitching a whole inning. Definitely not a great season in 2019 for San Juan O, but I definitely think he could rebound to the KBO League and be the closer for his team, which is the Kawam Hero. Wait, no. I'm not sure what his team is. I think it's the... Um, I, I don't I don't remember. I forgot. Uh, but my last player on this list is Drew Ruckensee. Uh, he's an NC Dinos starting pitcher. He has previously played in the major leagues for the Los Angeles Angels, Minnesota Twins, and Miami Marlins. Um, he pitched the opener for the Dinos. Six innings, three hits, no runs, no earned, four walks, zero saves, uh, 0, 0.00 earned run average. Definitely had a really good game versus the Samsung Lions, who are a really good team in the um, KBO, in my opinion, but so are the NC Dinos. Um, so, my prediction for San Juan O, I definitely think he is going to be on a not so good team in the major leagues. I say that he signs a deal with the Mariners, especially if he has a really good 2020 season in the KBO League. I definitely see him signing with a team that is not so good right now, and he could be a closer or maybe even an eighth inning or in the seventh inning role with the Mariners. Definitely think that'd be a good fit. Next is Drew Ruckensee. Um, I think he could start the season in 2021 with a major league team. And I think that Major League team obviously could be the Marlins, but I already have the Marlins getting Jake Bridgeham. So I think he is going to go to the Milwaukee Brewers. The Milwaukee Brewers obviously do not have the greatest starting pitching. I definitely think they could put him as number three or four in that rotation. They have Chase Anderson, Brett Anderson, I think, also. They also have Brandon Woodruff, um, a if he was third or fourth in that rotation, I think that would be good. If he could have a good 2020 season and have more starts like he did versus the Samsung Lions, I definitely think he could return to the major leagues. And I think it would be with like the Milwaukee Brewers, the Pittsburgh Pirates even I think could be in there. Um, also, maybe an AL team, the Los Angeles Angels also. Um... The Kansas City Royals, Detroit Tigers, those could possibly be some teams. So there's a lot of teams that he could go to. But I think it might be the Milwaukee Brewers because obviously if the Brewers could get some better pitching, they could be a contender. But they really don't have that great of pitching. So that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching this video. Um, if you like KBO content on this channel, like, subscribe, turn on notifications so you will get notified whenever I upload. Um, I've got, um, some more KBO ideas of videos to do, um, so if we could get some likes on this video, and if I see a lot of views, more KBO content will be coming soon, maybe not every day, but every other day, or three or four times a week, or two or three times a week. Um, yeah, so like this video if you like KBO content, and subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications. So you will be one of the first to watch my new videos. And thank you for watching. I will be back with another video soon.